This is a Twillingate lighthouse, and no, it's not automated, although it is on a list of lighthouses to be automated. But right now, there's a real live human being inside. His name is Jack May. But we're not here to talk to Jack the lighthouse keeper. We're here to talk to Jack the poet. Yes, poet. And what does he write about? Something that's near and dear to me. It's free. We keep hearing about global warming. The scientists say it's alarming. But if this lousy weather would leave altogether, now wouldn't that really be charming? They say the ice fields will melt as temperatures warmer are felt. Am I getting older or is it just colder? Sure glad I'm not wearing a kilt. <laughs> Jack, I see you like to uh, inject a bit of humor into your poetry, hey? Carl, very little that I do is uh, totally serious. Uh, I've done a few that, uh, that were, but uh, out of the 200, I guess, that I've done, uh, uh, most of it has mm. got some little, little silly stuff in it. Where do you get your ideas from? My ideas come from uh, a number of things. I get some from my, uh, my granddaughter. I get some from just walking back and forth to work. Uh, you look at, out at the ice here in the, in the winter and the spring when the ice is on and the icebergs. I don't think there's anything within nature that I see here that, I haven't, uh, that hasn't been my inspiration. Do you think that I could go up in the tower and uh, take a look out at the ocean from that viewpoint? Absolutely. Love to take you up. Great. OK, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> This tower has a really ancient look about it, but that's probably because it's well over a hundred years old. A hundred and eighteen years old, to be exact. The original narrow oak staircase has about 57 steps, with the last few steps taking you to the lantern house and light 50 feet above. Wow. What a view, eh? Yeah, we got a nice, something. nice bit of, nice bit of stuff around the rocks today. Yeah. You can, uh, you can see some of the fury that Mother Nature can dish out around these parts of the world. This lantern house with its spectacular view of Notre Dame Bay also provides Jack May, the poet, with the perfect setting from which to reflect and think about his writing. There's no shortage of ideas when you look out over the ocean because uh, especially at this time of the year when you've got uh, squally conditions, snow showers, snow flurries, uh, sometimes just out over the water, you can see these little systems coming in and you can watch the wind pick up speed sometimes to double uh, what you just felt. Wind, you cannot get away from it, seems everywhere you go. Especially here in Newfoundland, the wind will always blow. In summer, a wind is welcome. It helps to beat the heat. Then in the fall, it's strong enough to blow you off your feet. 